How's it going, guys? My name is Zach with The Movie Castle, and April is over. Another month blows by really quickly. Um, yeah, April, kind of a weird month. I mean, look at the holidays in it. April Fool's Day, uh, Easter, Tax Day, and 420. Those don't go together at all. That's really weird. But anyway, strange month is over. I guess it's time for those May flowers. But uh, since it's over, let's take a look at all the movies that I got during this month. Uh, do a monthly movie haul. And this month, I got some good stuff. I know last month was a little bit of a small haul. This month, 13 items. That's pretty cool. Four of them are Blu-ray, Blu two of which I got on clearance for only two bucks. I also found a 10 film collection, again on clearance for only two bucks. That's pretty cool. And I also got a few interesting stuff. A couple Shudder, a couple Shark movies, and a few kind of random items. And yeah, overall pretty happy with how this month turned out. Uh, so I guess without further ado, let's switch to the close-up camera, and I'll go ahead and show you every little thing that I bought. Anyway, to the close-up camera. Alright, here we are inside the castle taking a closer look at my movie haul for April 2023. Thirteen things in here, four Blu-rays, some really cool stuff. And I guess let's begin with something I was really glad finally came out on Blu-ray, and that is Infinity Pool. This is directed by Brandon Cronenberg, David Cronenberg's son. I saw his last movie, Possessor. That was a really good movie. Definitely, definitely recommend it. Uh, so I wanted to see Infinity Pool, uh, plus it's got Mia Goth in as well. Uh, Mia Goth was an ex in Pearl. Really great actress, wanted to see what she did next. However, this wasn't the biggest theatrical screening, and I couldn't really find anyone that wanted to go with me. Uh, so as soon as I saw it on Blu-ray, I snatched it up, because I, I really been wanting to see this movie. Uh, flip it to the back, and it talks about how there's this guy that commits a crime in a country with really strict laws, and he's supposed to be put to death, uh, but he kind of pays someone under the table uh, to make a clone of him so they can put the clone to death instead. But then you get a bunch of surreal imagery, and he wonders, you know, if it's really him or, or not. Anyway, slide the thing out of its case. The art is, of course, the same. And cracking it open... We get to see the infinity pool disc with this red water going off into the distance and the Neon Films logo. I was really surprised there wasn't an unrated cut of this. Possessor had a rated and an unrated cut, but as far as I can tell, they're just releasing this normal one. Maybe an unrated cut will come out later. I, I don't know. Uh, anyway, after that, an older movie that I found at my used movie store, and this one's called Prey. And yeah, I had to take the price sticker off and creatively reposition it. I don't think you can see any explicit details, but YouTube flips out for no reason. Uh, but anyway, uh, flip it to the back and it talks about how in Prey there's this alien who comes to Earth and he takes on human form and a lesbian couple actually discover him and think he's just a, you know, a, a hurt drifter that needs their help. However, of course, he's an evil alien. Uh, I picked this one up. A, it's a Vinegar Syndrome release. Vinegar Syndrome has a lot of really fun, crazy old movies. Uh, and, I mean, look at the, the alien face there. This is going to be pretty fun, I hope. Uh, but also, what really sold me... It was directed by Norman J. Uh, Norman J. Warren. I believe this is the guy that did Bloody New Year. I really like that movie. Um, anyway, same deal with why I had to reposition the stickers. Uh, I don't want to crack it open because the artwork, like I said, it's not too explicit, but man, YouTube flips out, so I'm just going to not crack that one open. It does have DVD and Blu-ray in there, though. Uh, after that, the last two Blu-rays were actually fairly big semi-new titles that I was able to get 
in the clearance bin, and let's start off with the David Harbour Hellboy. Yeah, I haven't started the Hellboy series yet, uh, but I did need to get this one. I kind of want to binge them all at once. I know this has a reputation for not being as good as the last two, and um, Del Toro I don't think is involved in it at all. So I, I, I know, but I hear it's also not as bad as everyone says, so I'll check it out. But when I do the Hellboy movies, I do want to binge them all at once, so I did need to get the third one, and this was in clearance for only two bucks and we can see the original price uh, this one sold somewhere previously used for twelve ninety nine so I'd say that getting it for two is pretty good it's got uh, David Harbour from Stranger Things and Amelia uh, Jovovich as I believe the villain uh, she was the uh, girl in the Resident Evil movies anyway flip it open and we get the disc there blu-ray and DVD. Always gotta like that. And after that, a movie that I thought was pretty good, uh, Overlord, produced by J.J. Abrams, uh, but uh, previously $9.99, now again, 2 bucks. And this is a movie that, you know, I thought was pretty good. I didn't think it was the best thing ever, uh, but definitely pretty cool. It's actually got a Kurt Russell's son in it, so that's that's fun as well, but basically some uh, American soldiers find the Nazis are bringing zombies back to life and they have to go in and fight them and there's a, a ton of fun sequences and zombie gore and stuff. And overall, I did think this one was pretty fun. Again, not the best, most memorable thing ever, but something that I am definitely happy to add to my collection for only $2 in Blu-ray DVD combo pack. Uh, sadly, just plain disc art, the gray and blue. Kind of a uniform thing, though, at least. Anyway, that's the four Blu-rays. Moving on to DVDs. And I know you guys, uh, you're, a lot of the people on this channel are, are fans of shark movies, so let's do the shark movies first. I actually have two shark movies that just came out direct-to-video on Walmart. I've been collecting shark movies as I see them, because every year on this channel, during the summer, I do a weekly shark movie review, Sharks of Summer, and granted that this is May, the series should start up again sometime pretty soon. Kind of snuck up on me, but hey, May, I, I guess it's summertime. I should probably get going. Uh, the first one we have is called Swarm, and we can see her with the shark right in front of her, uh, Joey Lawrence. You can't run, if you can't run, Swarm. Oh, Swam. I thought this said Swarm. Oops. Swam. Huh. Anyway, there's the side, and we can see this is a movie from The Asylum. Uh, the Asylum, lots of cheesy shark movies. They're the ones that did Sharknado, Multi-Headed Shark Attack, and Mega Shark. So they have sh experience with sharks. This one says that it's kind of like Crawl, and... Which I guess is why it's called Swam. Uh, but the house is getting flooded and sharks are coming into the flooded house. That's a great concept. That being said, this is the asylum. I'm surprised they have a, a budget to do a concept this big. I'm curious to see how they shoot it. But if it looks like the back, that would be pretty cool. I really did love uh, Crawl. And to see it with a shark... That would be fun. Flooded buildings are cool. Anyway, disc inside, same as the front. And there's the disc. I do like the curved text on the bottom. And there's her and the shark again. Anyway, after that we have another shark movie. And this one, kind of like the last one, uh, going a little bit like a different movie. This one's called Breathe, and the plot sounds a little bit similar to 47 Meters Down, but we'll take a look at it pretty soon. Uh, this is from 
ITN, and it talks about how some divers get trapped underwater with sharks and with a limited amount of oxygen. Honestly, and this is one thing with, you know, I, I, I buy up the shark movies, but if I wasn't a shark movie junkie, I, I don't know, because the shots on the back... You know, the, the shots in the back are what you use to sell the movie. That's where you have these crazy splashes and interesting things. And if the shots on the back here aren't that great, I kind of wonder how great the movie is going to be. Like, in these actual stills from the movie, you don't see a shark. You, you don't even see... I, I don't think these are underwater shots either. So, I am a little nervous about this one. But anyway, cracking it open again, disc is the same as the front, shark coming with water, with uh, blood coming out of its mouth, and there's our little divers there. So, not the biggest hype for Breathe, I, I hope it's better than it looks, but, um, you know, cool cover, but the back, you, man, not a photo of the shark in these, these four shots here, that's not good looking, uh, but anyway, after that, Let's go to the Shutter releases. Uh, this month we saw two new Shutter releases, and this one is Scare Package 2, Rad Chad's Revenge. And on the back it talks about how there's a funeral with a bunch of 80s horror-styled surprises in it. And um, to be honest, I haven't seen the first Scare Package yet. I heard it was really good, and I... I did pick it up, so I'm thinking I'm going to watch these two back-to-back -back as a double feature when I get uh, to it. It looks really good. It looks like 80s throwback horror, and when that's done right, it's done really good. Sometimes it's done a little bit in a cheesy way, and I'm not the biggest fan, but if it's done right, it's done right. They stopped putting their little ad in here. They used to have the tri-shutter ad. Anyway, that's Scare Package 2. Also, no slipcase for some reason. The other one is Blood Relatives. And you get these two vampires on the cover here. And it has kind of like the back roads of America feel with a big moon. And it talks about how they roam the streets at night. They're, um, I think they're brothers or something. And they have to, to keep on the road, keep moving so no one knows they're vampires. Uh, a smart vampire comedy with blood and bite. So, have to see how funny it is or how, you know, dramatic it is living on the road all your life. Cracking it open. Again, disc is the same as the front. It sounds interesting. I'll, uh, I'll see what's up with that one as well. I really got to stay on top of Shudder. They, they put out a couple movies each month, and, and if you don't keep watching them, they can really pile up. Uh, anyway, after that is the uh, sort of unrelated movies, uh, and let's talk about When Evil Calls. This one I already did watch. I don't know, it just looked cool, and I was kind of in the mood for it. I picked it up not knowing what it was, and I thought it'd be a knockoff of One Missed Call, uh, but no, it's actually pretty different. Uh, first of all, this is directed by Johannes Roberts. He's the guy that did Strangers Pray at Night and 47 Meters Down. And this is actually a Be Careful What You Wish For uh, style movie based on a wish going around through a text chain in people's cell phones. So you get a text, you want to wish, pass it on to someone else. And of course, it's actually pretty comedic and cheesy. Uh, so there's lots of just dumb gags. I have watched this already. It was dumb, cheesy, stupid fun. Uh, but also, this is kind of anthology with a bunch of like two to four minute segments because this is phone horror designed to be watched on your phone from 2006. So yeah, you had to download two minute chunks of the movie, watch them on your phone, and then delete them and download more. Watching stuff on the go has gotten so much better lately. Anyway, there's the disc. This is a former rental from Video Time. Probably out of business. Uh, looks like they were in Paris, Texas. Anyway, that's When Evil Calls. After that, a two-movie series. Uh, it doesn't get talked about a lot, but there's a whole bunch of horror movie 
duologies, uh, movies that have one sequel and one sequel only. And here we have the White Noise movies. Uh, first White Noise with Michael Keaton got the nice version with this nice shiny slip cover. And if we flip it to the back, man, like nice foil, man. Uh, we talk about how there's this guy, his wife dies, and he gets interested in EVPs, where you can hear ghosts on the tape, unexplained voice phenomenon. Uh, and uh, he apparently accidentally cracks the veil into the other world, and ghosts start haunting him. And it appears to have a bunch of bonus features as well. So that's pretty cool, and I'm glad I have both of them in the duology. Uh, crack it open, disc is obviously this... Uh, inner art is the same as the front and it's got these stupid little you know I've never had a problem with my DVDs just flying open really I, I hate these doors though I always go why isn't it opening anyway there's the disc with all the static and a ad for a bunch of other universal movies yeah there's the remake of Cape Fear everyone knows Red Dragon, which is one of the Hannibal Lecter movies, and then The Watcher. Anyway, uh, let's put that away, and now we're going to take a look at the second film in the duology, and that is White Noise 2, with, uh, the first one had Michael Keaton, and this one has Nathan Filton and Katie Sackhoff, who I actually just saw her in The, the Mandalorian, but this is actually why I decided to pick up the series. I quite recently watched Drive Angry, which was a Patrick Lussier movie, and I looked up what else he directed on IMBD, and I saw that he directed White Noise too. so I had to go out and buy both of them. It sounds like this one is a guy that can like see how people die or something, and he's trying to go around and help people or something like that. But I thought, hey, it'd be fun see what else Lucier has done, right? Someone has, because this is used, broken off the little doors here. <laughs> I know some people, if they see doors, they just do a little twist and they come right off. I don't, I don't like breaking things, but that being said, good riddance. Anyway, inside, really shiny disc, and an ad for HD DVD. Yeah. <laughs> That one, that format didn't take off. Anyway, after that, uh, we have a horror movie collection, and that is The Dead Walking. I wonder what that's supposed to sound like. But then they gave it a subtitle, The Zombies Are Coming, as if you couldn't figure out what this collection was about. Ten zombie movies, but we have to put zombies there. And we get it on the side. The Dead Walking, The Zombies Are Coming, from Ico Bridge over 13 hours and we can see some of the uh, covers here and we can see yeah some of them are uh, are older uh, we get uh, Last Man on Earth and I Eat Your Skin and those might be public domain I'm not sure you see those a lot padding out these uh, horror movie collections like hey we only have eight it'd be better if we get to ten let's stick Last Man on Earth and I Eat Your Skin in there uh, one also that I recognize, Mortuary, a Toby Hooper film, which I think is actually pretty fun. Not a lot of people talk about it, and the people that do don't really like it. I only saw it once, and that was like two years ago, but I remember having lots of fun with Mortuary, so I need to give it a rewatch. I do have a single-disc version of it over there. Yeah, I think I should watch it again sometime soon. Uh, but anyway, the other movies in here... Destined to be Ingested, Revolt of the Zombies, Zombies vs. Strippers, which is a full moon movie, Die Nur, parentheses, Get It, and uh, Ashes, Autumn, and River of Darkness. River of Darkness, that's Green Apple. And if you guys pay attention to my shark movie reviews, I reviewed two other Green Apple movies, and it seems like not a lot of people will talk about them. Uh, that's Shark Huntress and Alien Shark were from Green Apple, so I'm kind of curious to see what they do that's not a shark movie. That would be interesting. But anyway, crack it open. Ten movies, 13 hours. 
on just two disc. I'm not going in expecting the best picture quality here, but anyway, that is the Zombies Collection. After that, I do have a TV show, and it may seem like kind of a random pool, but that being said, I do like a bunch of different things. You know, I like mainly horror, but I do also like other things, and the last thing we have is... Adventure Time Distant Lands. I know, I know, it's a kid's show, but this show is just so chill. You know, the original Adventure Time, I've seen most of it. I don't think I saw the last little bit of it, but Adventure Time, Finn and Jake going on adventures. They're always so chill, and the concepts were always so creative and interesting, and it was a really good show to relax to, and and I, I really did enjoy it, and this was after the show was done, they made a series of specials uh, for HBO Max, and I'm really glad they put the specials out on DVD, uh, Distant Lands, that's a line from the theme song, flip it to the back, and we get to see, you know, they did a, they did one for BMO, Obsidian, Together Again, and that was the last one, Wizard City. That, uh, that looks pretty cool. So we get four special episodes in here. Slide it open, and disc is the same as the front in this white case. And then we crack it open, and we get Finn here on a very shiny disc and in purple. But yeah, I mean, yeah, I go from Scare Package to Rad Chad's Revenge to uh, Adventure Time. But you know, I like I like that show too. I, whatever. Uh, but anyway, this is our 13 items for Blu-rays, Shark Movies, Shudder Movies, The White Noise Series, uh, When Evil Calls zombie collection lots of fun stuff here glad i got all these movies and i'll definitely be uh, trying to watch them pretty quick especially sharks of summer should start pretty soon so yeah i'm just thinking of all these shark movies i i, I gotta cover because at the end of last year's sharks of summer i was like i can't believe i didn't do that i can't believe i didn't do that so here i am going i i got to get stuff done so so that should be coming really soon but until then, uh, to everyone who's watched so far, thank you for watching. To everyone who's liked and subscribed, thank you. You really are helping the channel out. I'll leave a relevant playlist on the bottom. This should be my monthly movie hauls playlist. I've been doing this since I think my October haul was the first one. So you can see all the other stuff I've bought in all those hauls there. Anyway, have a good day. I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Hauls playlist on the bottom. Have a good day now.